you was two months out of a relationship and you just needed to get your rocks off? Yeah. Was it worth it? Yeah. How many men have you been with in your lifetime? Be honest. To be quite honest, I would lie if I said I counted on my hands. Oh, I've been with five guys. That would be lying. I, I honestly don't know the number. Is it more than into- is it more than 20? It is. <laughs> I'm currently laying in the dark. Is it possible to just talk through the camera? I mean, yeah, through the audio. About what? Now. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. I kind of want to present myself. Um, How are you going to present yourself and I can't even see you? Well, I think I can present myself, tell you some quick, I don't know, things about myself. And we kind of go from there. Lady, that's not going to work if you, unless I can see you. Mm. Why you can't get up out the bed real quick and put something on and, and be on the camera? What's the problem? Yeah, and I do go to bed, you know, with nothing on. So it's just bad timing. Um, then why you, wondering... okay, what, what, do you, what do you have to say? What are you trying to say? Speak. I'm giving you opportunity. Okay. So I'm 34. I have one child, an eight-year-old. I'm five, five. I'm 239. <laughs> you five, five, I... 239 pounds? Yeah. Why are you so happy? <laughs> What's funny? Because I have to be happy with where I am until I get to where I need to be. And why would you be happy weighing 239 pounds? <laughs> I just think. Um, so I wanted to say, see, me, me not even showing my face, which I that is my face on my default pic, but just me presenting that alone is something for you to comment back on. So no, it's not because y'all do all kind of stuff with pictures. That's why I make y'all go live with me so I can actually see who I'm talking to. See this whole time while you've been talking to me, you could have got yourself ready enough to be camera ready. That's true. It should only take you a few minutes to throw something on real quick. I just they felt like being in the camera at this second. I just wanted to say that. And I wanted to say You five foot five, 239 pounds, you're 34 years old, you got one child that's eight years old. That's all we know about you. Right. But I mean, just from looking at the video so far, I noticed that's the simple, you know, I guess the basic things that a woman would say about themselves. So Okay, what? Um, why are you here? Folks, everybody watching on the YouTube channel, I need y'all to hit the like button, hit the thumbs up button for me so we can get this thing going. Uh, why would you come on here tonight? Like, what's your purpose? I don't get it. My purpose is just to come on. I mean, to be quite honest, I know I am qualified for a man. Um, How? You 5'5", five, five, 239 pounds. How you qualify for a man? But what? Okay. May I ask you a simple question? No, before you say, I want to ask you, I'm asking you, I just asked you a question. How are you going to turn around on me? I'm saying, what makes you qualify for a man? Five, five, 239 pounds. You're a single mother. You're 34 years old with an eight-year-old. I don't feel like that automatically disqualify me. Why not? Would it disqualify? Hold on, hold on a second. Should a, would you, what would you tell a man if he said, He's just getting out of jail. He ain't got no money. He's broke. He got no job or nothing, but he feels like he's qualified for a woman. What would you tell him? There is still hope. (laughs) Somebody would want him. So may I ask this? May I ask this? 
Go ahead. A woman have to be 100 pounds, no kids, to be qualified. I feel like aside of everything I mentioned, I still have great qualifications about myself. Like what? Well, I'm a great woman. I'm a working woman. I do have my own. Um, I come with love, affection, good intentions. Um, I feel like I'm good in bed. I feel like I have... Wait, hold on a minute. Who told you you was good in bed? I told myself that. Why? Because I'm single? When the last time you've been intimate with a man? Mm, couple weeks ago. Hmm. Who was he? I mean, to be quite honest, no one important, just someone I needed to get my rocks off with. I'm fresh. Well, how did you meet two, him? Two months out of a relationship. Um, on a date in sight. You was two months out of a relationship and you just needed to get your rocks off? Yeah. Was it worth it? Yeah. Hmm. So why you didn't, do, you still doing anything with him or he's done? It's over. Um, no, I'm not doing anything with him. I mean, he still calls, but it's really nothing important. No, I'm you know, saying, I'm I just, mean, are you going to still do anything with him in the future? I doubt it. I had my quick little fun and that's it. I know hmm. I want something more serious. So... I just felt like that was a quick, fun moment, and I'm leaving it there. Okay. Why everybody shocked in the comments? I'm like, in, they don't get none. Don't stop reading the comments. How, how many men have you been with in your lifetime? Be honest. To be quite honest, I would lie if I said I counted on my hands. Oh, I've been with five guys. That would be lying. I, I honestly don't know the number. Is it more than is it more than 20? It is. You That's the bad here, thing, too. You hear laughing like you think this is a joke. So I was supposed to lie and say five? No, it's Why over. I... Look, lady, it's over for you. I don't think so. I think it's still hope. Why won't you come on camera now? It's been plenty of time. Shout out to Courtney. Thank you so much for the super chat. Courtney said she out here in these streets letting... Some random run through her, but expects <laughs> to be upstate if a man to wife her. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I have, I, well, I want to respond to that. Everybody needs to get them some. I don't care how perfect everybody out here pretending to be. Yes, I needed to get me some. And I'm pretty sure y'all be getting y'all some too behind closed doors. I ain't coming out here pretending to be perfect. I am mean. And I'm still qualified to have me a great man and a qualified husband. And I will have, you that. know, you know, lady, y'all are beyond delusional in this day and time. I mean, I call y'all the children and the grandchildren of the white rock era. Th you, you actually came up and proved the topic before I even really start going on the topic. Why y'all have to settle for losers in relationship? Because most of the time, that's all y'all worth. Think so? Yeah. 
Look at how you move. You ended a relationship, then you said two months later, you just want some dick by some random man you met online. I notice with you, everything I say, it get used against me. Anything I say is positive to you? What's positive so far? Five, five, 239 pounds. You over here screwing that, whoever <laughs> online. What, what, what? Tell me what's positive. Everything is just not. What's the positive? Best I didn't ask you about perfect. everything. What's positive about what you've been saying? There are major positivity in everything I stated. Yes, like what? A quick negative was there is positive. What's positive about it? Say it. I feel like I don't know. I I, I don't know what to say. I just feel like nothing I can say is perfect. It's good for your ears. You're going to downplay it all. So it's like, what? I don't know what else to say. Okay, How point. about you answer this question? Shout out to Coffee Killer. He said, what qualifies you as a wife? Yeah, that's a good question. What makes well, you qualified to be a wife since you think that yeah. you such a good woman? And I love that question again. And, and I can add some extras to it. I feel like a side of my past Aside of my mistakes, what qualifies me as a wife is a woman who is honest about who she is. Um, a person who's straightforward about the situation that I'm in, um, which I'm in no situation. Yes. So Again, why would you say you're straightforward about the situation? I am a single mother, but I don't need to... Put that out there. You act like I'm a single mother with a, a one month old. My baby is older. She's getting older. Yes, I have an eight year old. Whoop de doo. She probably yes. bad as hell too. Oh uh, nah, she's she's pretty 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 put together for her age and as as a young girl. With you as her mama. Yes, with me as her mom. What else makes you yeah. qualified? What made me qualified as a great woman is... What about all them over 20 dicks that you didn't have in your cooter cat? I feel that... See, I'm going to ignore that and I'm, I'm going to stick to the... How are you going to ignore it? That's important for a man to choose you as a wife. Well, I honestly feel like the right man won't even worry about what's been inside me because I'm pretty sure his PP been inside other women. The right man. I don't ask... <laughs> I don't ask those type of questions of how many women or people you slept with or, you know, I don't ask that. I don't ask that. Okay. Okay. So if the right man, why hasn't the right man come along yet? Where's the right man Um, at? It's still time. Maybe it just haven't happened yet. I think we all want that person. Where where is he? Where do you think he is? Is it unfair that I haven't met that person? Where do you think the right man is, is the question. Not sure, but we will eventually find each other and grow, go from there. So why did you come up looking for advice from me? I I mean, I thought I could get some type of advice, um, but. Yeah, the, the advice is that you need a new cooter cat and you need to lose a person or two extra inside of you. Um, that's the advice. I can respect the losing part. You know, I I got that on point. Um, still look good the way I am. But when I get to where I would like to be, that'll be a plus. Um, I think the right person will accept me how I look now. Um, at, two I do thir- feel like- at 239 pounds, five foot five. Absolutely. It looks good on me. And again, show it I then. Why that, won't you come on camera and show it? If you look so good, show it. Because I'm just laying down. I mean, you already embarrassing me off camera. How am I, I embarrassing well you? If camera. you say, if you telling me you look, you telling all these people that you look so good, mm-hmm. why won't you show your back? <laughs> My back is not that big. It's not that bad. Well, if it's not that bad, then show it. Shout out to Tia for the super chat. Thank you so much, sister. Shout out to (laughs) Tia. (laughs) I just prefer to get embarrassed off camera. That's all. I knew you look, look, folks, while I'm talking to these people, especially on the YouTube channel, if y'all have any questions or comments for the people that I'm talking to, if you super chat me, I will read the question or the comment. Uh, 
lady, I've already given you, you said you thought I would have some advice for you. I gave you some advice. I told you, you need a brand new cooter cat. It's, it's the same. No, 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 works. no, no, no. Uh, I, but guess what matters? No, oh, guess what matters? It still guess works. What matters? May I say something? What matters? It's clean. It's healthy. It's tight. And it still works. How you know it's tight? Because it is. Who told you that? I did. Have a good night. Good night. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.